on rdd we can do many operations these operations are generally classified as transformations and actions a transformation translates one rdd into another rdd a transformation results in a new rdd while the existing rdd remains unchanged there are many transformations map and filter are more popular ones let's take a look at an example of transformation called map a map is a transformation that runs provided function against each element of rdd and creates a new rdd from the results of the execution of the provided function the diagram shows that the rdd1 is being transformed into rdd2 by running a function multiply by 2 against each element of rdd1 this is achieved by map let's walk through the code that uses map transformation create a local list having numbers from 1 to 10000 this is a simple scalar code spark hasn't come into play yet please note that this is not the best way to create an rdd because if the array is too big it could already overflow the memory as the local array is loaded into the memory ideally when the data to be loaded and processed is huge we use multiple machines now let's convert this local array into rdd using parallelize next we define a function multiply by 2 which takes a number as argument and returns its double value again this function is just like any other function scalar it is independent of spark now let's check if this function is okay let's run multiply by 2 with 5 it has printed 10 which is correct you can call this function with any other number now let's call this function on rdd by the way of map we execute nums.map and pass multiply by 2 as argument notice that we are passing a function as argument as if it's the data this would return another rdd which we have named as dbls let's check first five records with dbls dot take 5 you can see that dbls contains the double of the numbers we could also use dbls dot collect which would bring entire array to local memory which might overflow another important example of transformation is filter filter is used when we want to keep only some elements out of an existing rdd first we create a qualifying function such as is even in the example which should take a value in the argument and return either true or false we call a filter on rdd with the qualifying function as argument for example nums dot filter bracket is even bracket closed here filter basically calls the function on every element of the rdd if the function returns true the element is kept otherwise it is discarded in the example is even function is called on all values of rdd one at a time if is even function returns false as in case of value 1 the value is not going to be kept in the output if is even returns true as in case of value 2 the value is going to be kept in the output thus it would result in only even numbers also notice that the existing rdd stays unmodified a new rdd is created